been several ways in which our city has been shaped, unique reasons for our city's growth over the last 150 years. As we celebrate our city's sesquicentennial this summer, Cardio News Channel 13's Josh Helmuth is looking back at our special and unique history. For instance, Colorado Springs looked gloomy back in 1871 until a gold rush changed everything. By the turn of the century, Colorado was filled with gold mines that looked just like this. In fact, Cripple Creek had the most successful gold rush in the state, maybe the whole country. And if not for that gold rush up in Cripple Creek, Colorado Springs wouldn't be a fraction of the city that it is today. It all started when Winfield Scott Stratton struck gold at Cripple Creek on July 4th, 1891. His discovery would lead to an unprecedented gold rush that would create 23 millionaires in Colorado Springs. By the late 1890s, Cripple Creek was the world's richest gold field and the money was coming down the, mostly to Colorado Springs rather than Denver. And a lot of that money was reinvested into Colorado Springs, most notably from Cripple Creek gold pioneers like Stratton, who would build the Myron Stratton home for those in need, and Spencer Penrose, who built a lot of our local staples we still love today. They opened the Broadmoor, the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, built the Pikes Peak Highway, started the International Hill Climb. Because of the Cripple Creek gold rush, Cripple Creek became the second most populous city in Colorado for a short time. The population of Colorado Springs doubled. Colorado Springs would not be have the rich heritage it did without the millionaires from Cripple Creek. Josh Helmuth, News Channel 13, Colorado Springs.